Hello everybody and welcome to the beautiful and historic medieval market town of Wantage, the birthplace of King Alfred. We're here to take a look at the Blue Boar pub, our current development. It's been an extensive refurbishment and conversion of the upper floors into uh, four apartments. So let's take a look inside. I'm Darren, the founder of Brighter Properties, and we're now inside the new Blue Ball, which wasn't exactly known as Wantage's finest drinking establishment previously. We've had to do a huge amount of work in here, including a complete rewire, complete replumb, brand new toilets, and an additional ceiling below the existing lath and plaster. This has enabled us to complete the required acoustic and fire protection measures, which we've had to put in place because of the residential element upstairs. With the help of our tenant, I think we turn this into Wantage's best venue for a night out, with a great selection of wines, cocktails and beers. Uh, Wantage is a, a lovely town and it is special to me because 23 years ago, my wife and I bought our first house together, literally 30 yards in that direction. During that time I was a pilot in the RAF, and following my RAF career, I flew 747s around the world for 20 years. It's a great career, but it was time for a change following COVID. Uh, I was tired of spending my life in hotels around the world, time away from my family, and working for a company that I didn't enjoy working for. Moving into developments has given me a new uh, sense of freedom. It's allowed me uh, to manage my time, and it's also given me a bit more of a passion in, in my working life. I found this property on right move, believe it or not, and uh, I approached my friend Chris, who lives in Wantage. He's in the building trade, and we decided to make this a joint venture. After a long and tortuous purchase process, which involved having to renegotiate the deal following a pl uh, failed planning application, we finally took possession of the property in January this year and launched straight into the refurbishment work. It was always our intention to complete the work in the pub first, to allow our tenant to get into the property as quickly as possible. This would then allow us to move on to the apartments, which are now in various states of progress. Now we're now in my favorite room in the whole building, which is the double aspect sash window lounge in apartment two. We've got four apartments in the building and the work that we've had to do in each apartment has been broadly similar. Uh, we've tried to retain as much of the historic fabric as possible with this being a grade two listed building. The sash windows have all been completely refurbished and we will be installing secondary glazing throughout as well. In addition to that, we're installing MVHR systems in each uh, apartment, which will give us uh, a higher EPC rating at the end of the project. Insulation throughout the building, within the walls, acoustic insulation between the apartments, and also a lot of fire protection measures as well. Now we've had to do much more work on this property than we anticipated at the beginning. But that's the nature of grade two listed buildings, unfortunately. But once we started this project, we knew that we had to see it through all the way to completion and to a high standard. Our two bed apartment has perhaps been the most difficult part of this project due to the acoustic and fire protection measures that we've had to install in that apartment due to another apartment sitting above it. This required us to put new joists in the building front to back and also fix them to the existing structure which required a further build up in order to make them strong enough to take the new weight. Our final apartment at the top of the building is the furthest away from completion. We still have quite a bit of work to do up there including strengthening and leveling of floors, installation of a fire suppression system and a complete rewire and replumb. Right, we're now in the kitchen of uh, our ground floor apartment, which is just behind the pub. This did actually used to be the kitchen for the pub, and it was a pretty depressing place when we first uh, moved into it. Uh, it had damp issues, uh, holes in the roof, and the windows were all broken and falling apart. So we've had to address all those issues with a new roof, new windows, and uh, a damp proof membrane all the way around the property. An internal reorganization to create the bathroom behind me, and then fit this uh, kitchen. We bought this property for £375,000 and we spent about £400,000 so far. However, we do anticipate a final GDV of 1 to 1.1 million. So at the moment, we're still in profit. However, we do look to develop the building behind us because this came with the property. It's an old barn. Now planning permission was refused on this, 
when we bought the property and that led to the subsequent renegotiation when we purchased it. We do plan to revisit this and turn it into a full unit serviced accommodation, which will add further value to our GDV. If you'd like to know any more about this or our future projects, then you can follow us on Instagram at Brighter Homes or contact us via the details below.